Hi friends, uh, in our previous videos we uh, saw how uh, installed uh, an Ubuntu server and installed MyMilt instance on that uh, server and uh, how we added an external dynamic list on the Palo Alto firewall. Uh, so in this video uh, uh, I will be focusing on the Office 365 part, Office 365 uh, 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 issue. So what happens is uh, many customers have Office 365 running and uh, if they want to whitelist or, um, or allow only the Office 365 application and create policies related to that, it is very difficult because uh, they have to dig uh, number of IPs, number of URLs from various uh, Microsoft websites and they keep on changing and uh, uh, it, it becomes very difficult. Uh, of course, we can use uh, application IDs uh, to filter the Office 365 traffic, but uh, uh, the issue with app IDs is uh, we have to be very specific. If we miss some app IDs in the uh, security rules, uh, some of the applications might stop working and it needs uh, too much and uh, hassle. So what uh, uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the solution given by to itself. Uh, we can use uh, MindMelt uh, 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 to grab all the uh, IP addresses, domains, URLs of um, Office 365 uh, and uh, populate it in an EDL and use that EDL uh, uh, in the Palo Alto firewall rules, that EDL is a dynamic ext uh, is a dynamic list. It it keeps on updating according uh, uh, to the feed which we and the feed is uh, mined by the MindMill itself. So MindMill will continuously uh, check for the Microsoft uh, Office 365 IPs uh, with Microsoft and uh, regularly update them. So let's jump in and uh, let's uh, let me do a demo of uh, how we can uh, do that. So you're seeing this MindMeld instance, this is my lab instance uh, and uh, currently it has uh, s some nodes which are pre-built and uh, what uh, Palo Alto has done a uh, very good thing, they have uh, given us um, uh, uh, an Office 365 uh, uh, MindMeld uh, configuration uh, uh, predefined so like we can download it from, we can download it from this link and that's what I have also done. Uh, as if we don't do that, uh, we'll have to create uh, the miners, the processors, and uh, the out output feeds uh, manually. Uh, but what Palo Alto has done is they have uh, compiled the configuration already and uh, given, it, given it to us. So let's use them. So I have already downloaded it uh, from the file which I just showed you. This is the zip file which gets downloaded. So let me extract it. Okay, so this is the MindMeld uh, configuration scripts uh, which Palo Alto has given. There are various options uh, to choose from, like we can choose only IPs related to some like Exchange or SharePoint and also uh, uh, some sites are given like Germany, China. Uh, in this demo, what we'll do is uh, we'll grab all of them and which is there in this config in any. It will grab all the uh, Microsoft uh, Office 365 uh, IPs and URLs. So let me open this and see what is it in this uh, file. So let me open it with the WordPad so that uh, it is in a better read. Okay. Good. So okay, this is the uh, configuration, uh, MyML configuration, nodes configuration, which Palo Alto has already. Uh, compiled for us. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll copy this everything and let me open it, uh, our MindMill instance and I'll go to nodes. Sorry, I'll go to configuration and import. I'll click on the import config button. Paste configuration and click on the append uh, because if you click on the replace uh, the existing nodes uh, will get deleted so uh, be aware that uh, you need to click on append so i'll click on append okay so you can see uh, the office 365 uh, nodes are have already been uh, populated so there are around 
two, three, four, five nodes, five minus, sorry, uh, and uh, three output feeds, three aggregators as well. And uh, so the feeds uh, are the ones uh, which we will uh, put it in the Palo Alto firewall. Uh, so there is uh, one feed for IPv4 uh, addresses, one feed for IPv6, and one feed for the URLs. Uh, before we proceed, we need to commit these changes. Uh, so let me click on the commit button. Okay, commit is successful. So in, in, in each commit, uh, the MindMill engine gets started. So, okay, it is uh, booting up. You can see the uh, status uh, from here that uh, the engine is uh, starting. Let's give it some time to uh, uh, to restart the engine. Okay, uh, here we go. So the engine is running. Uh, go to the nodes. Node okay, the any any IP for address. So you can see that uh, uh, the column, this this column, which is the indicators uh, column, it has already added uh, 306 IP for addresses. Uh, okay, so there, there, so there they are a lot. There are 306 uh, I, IPs IPv4 addresses, 150 IPv6 addresses, and there are 494 URLs. Uh, which uh, serve uh, you the your office 365 so you see why 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 it is so difficult uh, for 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 us to properly whitelist or or maybe even uh, blacklist uh, office 365 applications uh, on the firewall so it's a good thing and uh, let us let us now, now since uh, now we have uh, what we want right we have the ips we have the urls now what what do we do with that uh, the mind melt. So, what we do is uh, we click any one of them, and this is the feed URL. Okay, so let's uh, copy uh, this uh, feed URL and uh, uh, we'll create an external dynamic list. So, I'll click on add. And give it a name. Two sixty-five IPv four. It's an. Let's keep it like that, and paste here. Certificate. I'm not uh, authenticating uh, the client right now, so I'll put it as none. Uh, check for the update. Updates every five minutes. Uh, I will keep it as default. There is an option to test the URL. Let's, let's uh, test it. And it says the URL is accessible. It won't uh, populate uh, the list entries right away. Uh, so let us click OK. And it is saved. So if suppose we want to uh, uh, allow or uh, allow these uh, Office 365 URLs, uh, uh, Office 365 applications, and uh, whitelist them. So I will create a policy allow two three sixty five IPs. Okay. Source will be uh, I have uh, not got the trust zone in my in my environment lab environment yet, uh, but you can put the trust zone here put it, uh, as any. In the destination, I will put uh, the outside zone, which is untrusted, and in the destination addresses, I will put the IPv4. Oops, IPv4 addresses. So here is uh, here are uh, Office 365 uh, EDL will stay. Applications, any services, uh, application default, action has. Allowed. So, so we have created uh, 
the hand and move it to oops move before okay uh, so here is the allow rule uh, to allow the IP addresses so Office 365 IP addresses uh, this, this thing is not working I, I don't know I need to check that later on I'll check that later on and okay. so these are the uh, I, this is the IP rule uh, but what about the URLs right we want to uh, check for IPs as well as we want to check for URLs. So we have created uh, the Office 365 IP4 list and now let's add the URLs. Okay, so let me copy this from my Office 365 URL feed and Office 365 URLs. Now this won't be an IP list, uh, this will be a URL list and here is the source, no authentication, let's test it and a URL access error, okay, let me find out why. You know what, uh, let's continue because uh, since uh, the server is accessible, I don't see any reason why these uh, URL won't be accessible. Maybe uh, it happens uh, sometimes. Uh, let's uh, let's do our configuration and, uh, and see what happens. So I'll click on OK. So this is our URL list, right? So now we, uh, as soon as you add a URL, dynamic URL list, uh, now in the URL filtering profile, uh, let's, let's, let's clone this one. And suppose this is the URL filtering URL profile which you are using for your uh, existing uh, uh, policies so now you 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 uh, you'll see the uh, url dynamic list uh, which uh, we create uh, in the url filtering profiles so now from here you can control the access so you can either block it or you can allow it so right now i will uh, put that to alert instead of allow oops so that uh, uh, logs are generated and we get the visibility the allow will won't generate the url logs okay so oops, so i did this okay alert alert okay so our url filtering uh, profile in the existing this can be a new profile or your existing uh, url filtering profile and yes your filtering license is required in my lab it has been expired uh, now let's go to policies and um, we have we already have a, ru a rule for ips right but we, we, we still want to make sure that uh, we allow uh, the office 365 applications so what you would do is this would be your general internet access rule right and okay source any destination zone as on trust and in the uh, actions uh, part uh, let's select that url profile okay internet access uh, let's move it uh, a little bit up So now we have the IPs. Uh, this rule will take the preference and allow all Office 365 IPs, and this rule will also allow Office 365 URLs. So it's it's uh, both 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 the things uh, we have applied, and let's come it. Uh, one more thing I uh, wanted you to 
uh, wanted to show you guys is uh, with uh, this office 365 you know that uh, there, there are a lot of uh, issues uh, with ssl decryption also uh, because uh, the uh, SLD, SL, because with ssl decryption uh, the certificate is not uh, 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 and uh, and server certificate uh, which uh, is offered to the client so sometimes uh, or I, I would say many a times uh, the office 365 applications would fail when we have uh, ssl decryption enabled for uh, outgoing traffic uh, uh, so if uh, i mean the ssl forward proxy so in that case also uh, uh, the mindmel will help us a lot what we can do is we can create a no decrypt sorry policy so so i will put it as any as of now since i don't have the trust zone and uh, destination also no destination i'll put it under untrust i'll put the address so this is the this is the rule where uh, you don't want to uh, decrypt the traffic and you can use the uh, office 365 urls uh, in this uh, very handy here and you could also um, include uh, things like uh, financial services and uh, even legal and uh, even uh, medical health and medicine right or and then whatever uh, categories uh, your organization don't allow you to decrypt okay so this is just an example and uh, uh, the main focus here is the office 365 urls and uh, we have achieved this so what this policy will do and uh, let me okay no decrypt right uh, keep the action as no decrypt and you'll add another profile and this will be the decryption profile decrypt all uh, similar sorry similar rule but the category will be all and it will be decrypt so what this will do is this will save uh, the office 65 applications from going into the ssl decryption if that is your requirement and if ssl decryption is uh, 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 is uh, messing with your uh, office 365 applications uh, you can opt to do this uh, now let's finally commit our configuration so i'll be pausing the video uh, while it uh, commits okay uh, our configuration is co committed uh, successfully and now let's let's go back to the urls uh, to just uh, verify if the is able to fetch the URLs or not? Go to external dynamic lists. URLs lists and yeah, uh, we are getting the feeds. Uh, there are 482 items and uh, this thing did didn't work last time and yeah, it's working now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Any. Uh, anyways uh, so this is completes our demo and uh, this was to show how how beneficial uh, uh, mind melt would be uh, if if uh, if you want to uh, whitelist or or blacklist specifically office 365 and if you are facing a lot of issues with the office 365 and not able to whitelist or uh, whitelist successfully with the existing configuration on firewall so in that case, uh, MindMeld uh, would be very, uh, very much useful, and Palo Alto has given us uh, a ready-made uh, configuration also uh, to be uploaded on MindMeld. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, uh, hope uh, this is this was useful, guys, and uh, thank you very much uh, for watching.